us patiently waiting I'm passionately smashing every expectation Every action's an act of creation I'm laughing in the face of casualties of sorrow For the first time I'm thinking past tomorrow When I am not going away my shot I am not going away my shot And you will just like the country I'm not scrappy and hungry And I'm not going away my shot We go to It's just amazing. Leslie, it's so amazing for all Leslie of us. Leslie Odom like Jr. You, is that kind of like when Paul McCartney hears, I want to hold your hand? He goes, okay, I've heard that enough. No. Or does that still <laughs> kind of grab It's you electrifying. Because it was yeah. a moment in time that was so extraordinary, wasn't it? It's, it still touches me and moves me, yeah. you know? Leslie Odom Jr. originated the role of Aaron Burr in the Broadway hit Hamilton and won a Tony for his Tony-winning performance. He's now <laughs> returning to Broadway in the revival of the satire, Purple Victorious, a non Pearly. Pearly, Pearly Victorious. I uh, hopefully people will get very, very used to saying that name. Pearly. Pearly. Pearly, Pearly, Pearly Victorious, Victorious yes. a non-Confederate romp through the cotton patch. That's right. <laughs> oh, my God. In which he port portrays the title role originally played by the legendary Ossie, Ossie Davis, and he joins us now. It's great to have hey, you. Hey, good morning. Pearly. I'm happy to be here. Oh, my Lord. Yeah. Well, wait a minute. We have to just say... That 300 interviews ago for Sunday Today. Oh, different show, this is kind of amazing. So Sunday Today, we're trying to get Your the show off the ground. It was 2016. Hamilton mania was going crazy. I yeah. said, let's take a shot see if we can get wow. Aaron Burr himself, Leslie Odom yeah. Jr. And you he got was so him. generous to You're say so yes. great. We did an interview, and Leslie Odom sort of blessed our show that first day. And here we are seven years later. Today, we're shooting our 300th interview. So you, made, you hold you a special. Thank you. you made, <laughs> that's what I'm getting to, Oh, my yeah. God. Are you yeah, okay? The comedy is starting already. No. <laughs> I, uh, so you thank I you can help oh, you get it back. forever in your no, day, sir. It, yes. it was it was my pleasure. <laughs> you uh you you made made our, our day to you know the that that Hamilton was such an amazing experience because you know the theater changed my life uh, and I believe in the in the in the power of theater. I be, every time I buy a ticket to, to mm. see a, a show on Broadway or off Broadway, I'm doing it because I think that maybe my life is going to be changed mm. and it has been yeah. a few yeah. times. You know, so Pearly Victorious, I'm, I'm uh, it's with that same hope. You know that we join together this amazing cast with Kenny Leon to speak the words of the legendary Ozzie Davis, this great American. Uh, we're, we're hoping that you come into the theater and once again uh, are reminded of the power uh, of this of this medium. So, so tell us what we'll see. Um, well, I'm going to be joined on stage right next to me. In the original production, it was uh, Ozzy's wife, Mr. Davis's wife, Ruby D, played mm. opposite him. She played uh, the role of mm. Ludie, Ludie Bell. Uh, in, in our production, we have two-time Tony Award nominee, Miss Carrie Young, playing the part. We've got Vanessa Bell Calloway. We've got an inc inc incredible company of um, thoroughbred New York <laughs> artists right. uh, to, to speak these words. And uh, 60 years after the premiere on Broadway. Mm. So, Leslie, for people who don't know the story of Pearly Victorious, just set the scene a little bit about what we will see in terms of the story. You see, in a brother, you know, come come back to the the farm on which he was raised. You know, his people are. He comes from sharecroppers. Uh, and uh, we'll talk about sharecropping over the over the months leading up to the show. But my my great grandfather was a sharecropper, mm. actually, uh, and it was. Uh, yeah, it was uh, not all it was cracked up to be. But uh, mm. Pearlie comes back to, to, his, to his hometown in, in Georgia, and he's looking for, he's trying to plan a, a, a way to buy back this church that his grandfather preached at because he believes in ownership. And really, the show is about uh, what in America we can lay claim to. What in America do we own? Um, but it's a comedy. It's a, you know, the, the non-Confederate romp through the cotton patch, emphasis on romp. <laughs> We're going to have a ball. <laughs> and, and, a mu wow. and a musical. Well, we, you know, I don't, I, 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 I'm going to try to find a way to get some music in there. Mr. Davis didn't. Mr. <laughs> yeah, Davis wrote a play. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's hard for me to step well, off a stage and not uh, <laughs> sing a little bit. <laughs> you should talk to but, but I think that the history uh, 
where we are now. Yes, sir. The history of the whole idea of the sharecropper and the ownership and what he went through is important. And uh, as I said to you, as a young activist, I got to know Ozzie Davis, who was an activist, yes, and sir. Ruby D was an activist with steroids. But, for, <laughs> but he was a performer. Metaphorically. Yes. yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let, me be clear. let me be clear that I have to say that metaphorically. But uh, I think that uh, people also need to know how he really brought that to life. I remember as a kid going to see Pearly. Yes. And then if, if there was anyone I think that can step on that stage and recapture that is you after watching what you've done in your career. Tell me how you feel as an artist doing something that you know you're going to be compared with, with one of the great artists of all times, Ozzy oh, Davis. Wow. How does that feel? What, what challenge Not that scary. That? Are yeah. You, are, are you all right with that? Uh, you, yeah, it's a, it's a little scary, but it's Daunting. exciting. It's exciting. You know, yeah. my, my, my first job. Broadway show that I did was, I was 17 years old when I went into Rent on Broadway. Oh, wow. And so I, I replaced, you know, I stepped into the shoes of somebody that had, had uh, come before me in that way. And then Hamilton, I got to originate something. And this, you know, to pick up something that somebody wrote 60 years ago with somebody like me in mind, you know, is just a, a wonderful experience. You know, that in the theater, we, we, these things are ephemeral, these moments come and go, but you do, you hope that you can be a part of something that is lasting, something that, that, that some young actor will pick up down the line and, and find their own strength in it, you know? So to talk about, to put uh, historical perspective on this, of course, we're coming up on the 60th anniversary of, of Martin Luther King Jr.'s March on Washington, which, of course, you're going to be leading uh, in August. But, John, for the 100th performance in 61, Reverend Martin Luther King Jr. went and celebrated with the cast the 100th premiere to show you just, again, wow. the, the historical importance of yeah, this. Yeah, and, and just to, to clarify my question, it's funny, you know, I, the, the history of this show, Pearly Victorious, led, there was a musical that Ossie Davis did called Pearly that was an That's adaptation right. of the original yes, play. Sir. So you're in the play, there was a musical version. The reason it's on my mind is because, you know, you have, you know, your breakthrough, right, is a couple of huge songs in Hamilton, right? Yeah. Wait for it. Uh, rumor it happens people remember uh, those songs you've done jazz albums since then you're you're you know in addition to your acting career and movies music's really you know been your voice is what really mm. broke you through um do you want to get Rebecca get back on Broadway and be singing stay like live I know what singing wait for it over and over again meant to you back in those days that like, the gift of that song is that something you long for again to get back on a live stage and be singing for audiences again uh, yes <laughs> and and this is you know th there is a tremendous amount of music even in this play you know there you know what what Mr. A what Mr. Davis uh, puts his finger right on is um, the music of of this language of this of this American language. Um, and not just, you know, there, there's, there's white folks in the show, too. But, uh, there's, you know, mo <laughs> most especially, most, ish. Es ish. Ish. most especially it is, you know, it, it highlights, you know, what we've what we've made of ourselves here right. in a, you know, in really uh, challenging soil. You know, we've uh -huh. managed to grow something really special in this country. This must feel gratifying to hear this from Ozzy Davis and Ruby Dee's family saying, with Leslie Odom Jr. in the role, Pearlie will rise with magnificence. Oh. Hey, what a statement from the family mm. to, to kind of put the, their blessing on it. Um, as someone who's seen Broadway from all different angles and been in some of the biggest shows ever, how nice is it to bring this to Broadway, to see those faces in the crowd, especially after the pandemic where it was no sure thing that mm -hmm. this all was coming back to us. Some scary moments there, but here we are. It's got to be nice to be back. It's so nice. I mean, you know, I, I, I believe in, you know, the, the, I think the, the most powerful thing about the theater is the potential for catharsis, that spontaneous rush of emotion. And it's not just uh, tears, it's laughter too. And uh, if you're lucky, it's laughter through tears. You know, uh, that, that thing, that communal experience that happens in these houses just up the street is, you know, it's just brought me some of the greatest joy of my life. Ah, uh, mm -hmm. Pearly Victorious, a non-Confederate romp through the cotton patch begins previews September 7th at the Music Box Theater here in New York City. Tickets are on sale now. You Boy, better grab them up. I, I can't wait. Leslie Odom Jr., wait. thank you so much thank for coming you. on. Thank it's you, so Leslie. nice Whoa. to meet you. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs>
That was a joke. That was a fake one. Are you one. sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are yeah. you 